Hi, I'm the Alchemist Astrologer, and this is your Date to Remember Tarot Reading for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, and Aries Moon. So I've already laid out the cards for you, and the first date we have of significance during this month is the 1st of August. So there seems to be a focus on perhaps a property or an institution. This may be a large property, a luxury property, a hotel, a religious institution, uh, an educational institution, government institution. There's something to do also with history, something historical. Now this may pertain to uh, historical wealth, uh, inheritance, uh, royalties, investments. Uh, for some of you, this is going to center around your legacy, what you're leaving behind, uh, your own personal history. Maybe you or your family or your partner is part of a family dynasty. Maybe there's a great deal of power, of money, of wealth, or influence. It could be that you're focused on family traditions, the history. Uh, or maybe this is about you feeling some kind of status and the need to stay within this perceived status when you're connecting with others. So, you know, this is, you know, you wouldn't want to marry down or you feel like somebody has to meet a certain requirement before you can marry them. So this is staying within your perceived social status or social circle when dating. Uh, for some of you, this may be a focus on a marriage that is arranged. You're coming together with another person just like, you know, in history where two parties come together for shared goals, not necessarily so much based on love. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with powerful individuals or issues concerning traditional values or conservatism. There's also a focus on the attainment of something. So perhaps it's the attainment of something through an institution or the attainment of some kind of property or attainment through someone of wealth or using power. So there's some recognition here. For some of you, though, you're having to stop struggling with regard to something. Uh, perhaps there is a history and you're going to have to accept something as it is or a power uh, larger than you, you have to go along with whatever has been decided. But there can be, again, the attainment of something, probably some kind of peace of mind through spiritual enlightenment. Now, the advice card for that day is, when I listen with my heart, I hear a truth beyond the facts. So, you know, it's not just uh, what someone is saying. This is a bit of reading between the lines, really listening to the other side or listening to yourself, getting into that heart center. So that's on the first now, on the fifth, there's a focus on new love. Now, this may be an actual relationship or a new love you have, some kind of interest, something that you are pursuing. But there's new love here. Uh, something is in the works or on the way. There's a new relationship on the immediate horizon. Uh, and again, this could be the early stages of that, the beginning stages. Perhaps you're in courtship. Uh, you're just getting to know someone, or you've, you're meeting a potential partner. But the key here is opening yourself up to love. So already we see that there's a theme, opening your heart, listening, truly listening. And so there could be issues centered around giving and receiving love, being open-hearted, being generous, or the need to love yourself more, or to bring more love into your life. So on the fifth, you're focused on opening your heart, opening yourself up to new love. And the advice card is complications allow the opportunity to get creative. 
So you could have been facing a situation where it, there didn't seem to be any easy answers. Uh, maybe you had difficulty finding your way through this situation, navigating it. It seemed like all exits were closed off. But this is actually an opportunity for you to think outside of the box. And again, that may come through opening your heart, uh, getting out of your head, listening, and uh, getting in touch with something to open some doorways to new love. Now on the 11th, you have this focus on finances. So for some of you, this is about you know, some area where finances are affecting your relationship. Maybe you're working with your partner. Maybe you're working towards some shared financial goals or to build greater security together. So for some of you, uh, career or work is very important. In fact, there could be some workaholic tendencies where that takes priority over the relationship. And again, you or your partner may be wealthy or maybe you're involved with someone in the financial industry. Maybe this is a family business. Uh, maybe you're involved in a work affair. This could be a connection to a co-worker, a colleague, a client, a superior. So there may be something going on in the office. You may be taking a closer look at your finances. Something is being revealed. Uh, maybe you need to you know, this is the magic card, so maybe it's easy for you to make money or acquire it. Uh, you're recognizing uh, the power of money or the value of money or what it means to you. So you're taking a closer look at your finances. Your advice card is, I need to dig deeper to uncover the root of my unhappiness. So perhaps you're having to look at your finances uh, work opportunities, spending habits, some goal that you want. But in truth, is it really about the money? You really need to look closely at your relationship to money, your value system, what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, because generally, if there are any issues with money, they more so have to do with your own self-value, your self-worth. So overall, there's uh, new love, and perhaps it requires an investment of some sort. Maybe this connects to property, or maybe you are uh, you meet someone at an institution, a, a hotel. Maybe you're financing some kind of vacation or something. Or there's a new love where you can make money, some kind of hobby or interest or goal that you have. So money is in, in focus. Uh, it could be you fall in love with a property and you're looking at you know, how much the investment will be. Or perhaps you already have a large property that you love and you're investing money in it. You're repairing it, you're redecorating, you're renovating. Uh, for some of you, again, there's some shared goals with another person where money is going to be important. Uh, the underlying energy, though, is the ego card. And so something about your relationship is hindered by perhaps selfishness, ego, maybe greed, or perhaps uh, there's self-righteousness, a refusal to compromise. So perhaps you're in some kind of negotiations concerning money or property. It could also be that, you know, somebody has to have more humility, that you know, somebody's behaving with a big head and a small heart, so the relationship needs mending. You may come into more awareness of your ego or someone else's. Perhaps it's triggered through issues connected to property, power, tradition, values, what's expected, money, finances. So something illuminating is going to occur where you're going to be either giving advice, perhaps getting advice. You're trying to solve a problem. And you may need to take a leadership role. So again, the attainment of something through opening your heart up, really listening to deal with some complications, revealing some issues connected to value, money, worth, or involvement with somebody at work or connected to the financial industry, where you need to dig a little deeper about what's really troubling you about a situation. Now, your advice is playfulness, to escape, no, I don't know why I said escape, to recapture romance 
allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And you have wild ride. So for some of you, perhaps this is some kind of investment where you are on a trip. Maybe you're with someone and you're having fun or you, you're traveling and you fall in love with something. Uh, so wild ride may indicate a, you know, ad, an adventure of some sort. You're having fun with somebody on an adventure. Now, this could be you're involved with a colleague or a client and this is a, you know, an exciting, exhilarating uh, connection for you. For some of you, though, this is an undertaking that is fast, intense, and perhaps harrowing. Maybe you're relaxing from that. You're looking back and thinking, whew, that was wild. Uh, so for some of you, you know, this is a very intense experience. Now for, for others of you, Wild Ride has some sexual connotations. Maybe you've met somebody who is uh, sexually exciting to you. So there's playfulness uh, connected to Wild Ride. Only you know what that means. Your muse energy for the month is this white buffalo calf woman. She represents reverence. So let's see what she's got to say. Now is the time to view your world through a lens of peace, harmony, and reconciliation. The domain of the Lakota goddess, white buffalo calf woman, it's time to leave the right, wrong, good, bad, zero-sum game world behind and enter the space where you can find the sacred ground of sharing without guile and negotiating from a desire that everyone benefits. You will be so glad that you did. Take a humble yet grounded approach to your life right now. Only good will come of it. The goddess white buffalo calf woman supports this way of being in the world. So if there have been some issues connected to money or finances or sharing or ego, this is time for you to put that aside. This is about sharing, generosity, opening your heart up. Uh, you know, it could be that maybe you're opening your home up or uh, you're looking at sharing your money with someone or you know you're trying to attain something that you love and you're having to take a closer look at what it takes whatever it is again this is a time to humble yourself to put your ego aside to be illuminated to become aware spiritually awakened about what your real value system is all right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a message, and I'll see you soon.